Kristen Stockford, and I'll be your host for this program. Our objective is to show the different views between perception and reality for those experiencing anxiety. From memory, abstract reconstruction, like when someone is telling us a story, or from the present being about eight design. years old and not doing very well in school, and my parents took me to different doctors, and I was diagnosed with uh, having hyperkinetic disorder, and was put on uh, different medications, and, it, and nothing really seemed to work, uh, to the point where special schools were needed. And uh, later on in life, being misdiagnosed with bipolar, manic depressive, social Mental anxiety disorders. disorders. Most commonly we see anxiety disorder, bipolar disorder, and post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, one of the things that's critical and one of the things that's so important about having a treatment center where women are treated in an environment with all women and treated by women. Like and I'm kind of having anxiety right now. <laughs> Believe it or not, I mean, I had this took two anxiety pills um, for my disorder that I do have. Uh, like I said, I was in special special education was growing up as a child. Um, just having a lot of anxiety, <laughs> so I kind of laugh that I have anxiety. Joining a support group or forming with friends a support system where the group get together once or twice a week to discuss anxiety issues is one of the best tools to understand anxiety. If you have a family member who suffers from anxiety, you can get extreme benefit in talking to other people who also have a family member with anxiety. Join or create a support group. We will review anxiety in full in our next program anxiety and depression. I'm Charles Smith and it has been a pleasure bringing to you this presentation. Just as love can distort your perception of who a person is, making them more beautiful, anxiety can make any situation seem more stressful. Although there is little one can do to control these emotions from surfacing, there are hope in coping mechanisms. We hope this production has been a benefit to you and your family. If you need any further information on this or any of the other programs of the series, you can contact us at www.themindshelter.com.